Hey everyone, I'm Vivi, and today I'm going over my top 10 favorite palacemen. I mean, if you've never seen the Owl House, palacemen are basically a, a witch's familiar. Well, they're kind of different because they're, um, what are they called? They, enha they enhance a witch's magic, and they are and they can turn into a staff, and I don't really know how else to describe them. They're made of this thing called palestrum wood, which is very powerful, and that's basically all they are. <laughs> well, they come in all different shapes, but... Well, animal style, I should say. But these are my top ten favorites, so let's get into it. Number ten is Raven. That's not actually its name. It, I don't think it has a name. Um, this is Lilith's Palisman. We don't really know not much about it, but it's really cute. I like it. It's like a little white raven. All, all of um, Lilith and Ida's family have birds as, a, as their Palisman, which is really cool. I like that. But hers is, while well, it's my least favorite of, you know, the Clawform family, I guess. I still think it's really cool. I like it. Number nine is Waffles. You're probably thinking, who the heck is Waffles? Um, Waffles is Hunter's new palisman that we see in the finale. And he makes me hang me that he has a new one. Even though Flapjack, you know, will always be Hunter's real palisman. Come on. Um, and it's nice to know that he's bonded with, some, with someone else. And also, Waffles and Flapjack. That is amazing. Thank you for that, Dana Terrace. That is so good. And I'm just happy that Hunter has another palisman to take care of now. Even though we know nothing about him, because we never got to know because of you, Disney. But still, I forgot how to pronounce this one's name. Number eight is Frewin. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I'm going to watch the episode again. Um, but yeah, that, this is um, Principal Bump's palisman. And he actually has a lot, big purpose, actually, because he helps him see. Because I don't know what happened to his eyes, but one of his eyes is sewed shut. So, you know, his palace bin basically goes over his eyes so he can see, which is actually really cool. So they're like C and I companions as well, really, when you think about it. Palismans do a lot. Like, I, we need palismans. Please somehow make palismans for, for us, please. <laughs> I am not saying this one's full name. Number seven is Bailey. That's what I'm calling it. That's its middle name. I'm not saying its full name. Bailey is Gus's palisman. It's a little chameleon. I, I really like it. It's cute. It's, it's kind of... He seems kind of timid, though, and he's not really the best flyer out of all the palismans, but still, he's really cute. I like him. He reminds me a lot of Sobble from Pokemon. That's a hint, by the way. Number six is Clover. Clover is Willow's palisman. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I, I, I actually don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I think it's a girl. I'm just going to say she. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I like her a lot. She's cute. I also love her staff. It looks really cool. It looks different from the other staffs, because the other staffs are just sticks, but this one has, like, extra on it. I don't know if like any of the other ones have that or not. I'll have to check again. But yeah, I really do love, love Clover. She's really cool. Number five is Ghost. Ghost is Amity's palisman. She's just a nice white cat. How can you go wrong? I'm pretty sure she's actually based on um Dana Terrace, the creator of the show's actual cat, who is, uh, is also called Ghost. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I saw that somewhere. But I do love her a lot. She's really nice. She's pretty. I love her staff as well. It's, although it's just a stick as well, it's purple, and the purple's really nice. It goes well with Mammy's, you know, whole theme and magic. So yeah, that's really cool too. Number four is the Bat Queen. I kind of feel like I'm obligated to put her on, to be honest. The Bat Queen is the biggest palisman that we know about, but we never learned who she belonged to. I, I think she belonged to the Titan, King's Dad, but I, I, I don't know yet. I think we I might have to, like... I don't know if they'll ever confirm that, but... I feel like, you know, she's obviously too big to be anyone else's palisman, so who, what other creature is big enough to have a palisman that size? The only answer is the Titan. That would have been very good to find out if Disney didn't cut it short. I kind of thought the ending would have been that King would grow to the size of the Titan, and then, like, the Bat Queen would become his palisman, or, or a different route where Belos would absorb the Bat Queen and become super powerful, which that did kind of happen, but the Bat Queen had nothing to do with it. In fact, she was completely irrelevant after the, um, Hunting for Palisman episode, which makes me sad, generally. Number three is Owlbert, the very first Palisman we ever saw. But when we first saw him, though, we just thought he was a normal owl, but then, you know, when he, when Luz followed him into the demon realm, we, we saw Ida put, put, her, put him on her staff. We know that Ida's dad helped Ida make <laughs> Owlbert, which is really cute, because Ida's dad used to be a Palisman maker before... Ida attacked him in her owl beast form, which was not her fault. But yeah, Owlbert is adorable. He's the most developed pal palisman, probably. Actually, no. Maybe not. Maybe not. But we'll get there. Don't worry. But yeah, I, I have to put Owlbert on the list because he's adorable. And you know, 
pretty fitting that the that the owl lady has an owl talisman. You know, because the only reason she's called the owl lady is because of the owl beast cursed. So, what were the chances of that happening? <laughs> Number two is String Bean. String Bean is, uh, Luz's talisman. It was, it was always foreshadowed to be a snake throughout the whole series. From, like, the very beginning, it was foreshadowed, and that's amazing. And before you comment, yes, I know he's a snake shifter, but he's still a snake, so I'm still right. <laughs> String Bean is really cute, though. I love him. His little ears, his, like, little scorpion tail. And he's so cute. I'm so happy he was a snake, though. If he wasn't a snake, and all that foreshadowing was for nothing, I would not have been happy. But seriously, if you never noticed it before, go back and watch the whole show and look out for all the foreshadowing. It, it was so awesome what they did. But yeah, String Bean, I love you so much. But there's still one talisman I like more than you. Okay, was there any doubt? Number one is Flapjack! <laughs> Why wouldn't it be Flapjack? Of course it's Flapjack. Pro uh, Flapjack is probably the most developed talisman we've had in the show. And I'm actually kind of sad because if you watch the show, spoilers, Flapjack dies. And it's so sad, but... It's fine, because we'll always remember him. Flapjack is Hunter's talisman, and Hunter is a Grimwalker, which are basically clones, but they're also artificial witches, so they don't have magic. But Flapjack allows Hunter to have, like, not full magic, but he can, like, teleport or speed really fast. It's kind of unclear what that was, really. But yeah. And then at the end, when, like, Bella takes over Hunter's body, and it all he almost dies, Flapjack basically gives up his life and his energy to Hunter so that Hunter can survive. And then afterwards, Hunter has his powers, which is awesome. And yeah, that was the end of Flapjack. I'm a, I'm sad they needed, that they didn't revive him, but I'm also kind of glad they didn't in a weird way. Kind of like kind of glad that Ida and Lilith never got their magic back. It's just like, it, it makes it more, I don't know, realistic in my opinion. Instead of, ironically, magically making everything better at the end. But yeah, Flapjack is the best one. And as you all know, I have a, pl a plushie of a red cardinal, and I think most of you know what it's for, but in case you not, don't know, you'll have to wait and see. But yes, Flapjack, you're my favorite of all the talismen in the show. Well, that was my top 10 favorite talisman. Let me know what your favorite talisman is in the comments down below, and let me know what you thought of the Owl House finale. And please like and subscribe, and I'm BB, and I'll see you next time. Bye!